The end of math. When does it end? Right? When does it end? When do you reach the finish line? I made a video long ago. It was called Learn Mathematics from Start to Finish. And some of the comments were saying things like, there is no finish to mathematics. It never ends. So I wanted to make this video to talk about that because I think that a lot of people don't realize that there actually is no end to mathematics. It does actually go on forever. It goes on forever. You can never stop learning. You can just spend your entire life learning mathematics and you won't know everything. So in that video, start to finish, it was mainly meant to be you know, start to finish at the undergrad level. I did throw in some grad level books, but it was mostly like all the undergrad content that you learn as a math major. Although I do think I forgot uh, to include differential geometry and perhaps a couple other subjects, but it was pretty much all there. But it never ends. You know, once you go past your undergrad, it keeps going. I have this book. Well, I have a lot of books, but I have a book. It was the first math book I think that I read from start to finish. And I finished the entire book. It was an abstract algebra book. And I reached the end of the book and I felt that I needed to learn more because I did. I, need, I needed to learn more abstract algebra. So I picked up another book and it was more. And it just keeps going. Right? It just keeps going forever. And I think people don't understand that. That's the thing about mathematics. You know, you, you pick up a book like this one here. It's an intermediate algebra book. And you can go through the whole book, but you're not going to know everything in math because then there's you know, college algebra, then there's pre-calc, then there's calculus, and it just keeps going and going and going. You get to research level math and you're creating new math. But it never ends. It never stops. Ever. It's not like, you know, when you're learning, I'll just use C programming as an example. Like the basics of the C programming language. I spent a lot of time teaching myself C programming many, many years ago. Before I went to college, I taught myself how to program in C using the internet and a book I had. I read the whole book. And I went to college for computer science and I switched to math. But I was able to learn everything, or almost everything, about C programming. You know, all the, all the constructs, everything. You know, how, how the language works, how to write code. But just, just C. Now there's more you can learn in programming, right? There's other languages, there's different APIs you can use, etc. right? But just the core language does kind of have an end. Whereas in mathematics, you know, if you're, if you're learning calculus, sure, there's some, there's some core ideas and core theorems. And I guess you can learn, you know, all the theory of calculus, but I don't know, it just feels like it never ends. It feels like if I pick up a calculus book, I can still probably find some challenging exercises, you know, some, some things that I haven't seen or some examples I haven't seen with functions I haven't seen or, you know, just different questions. There's some, there's some pretty hard math questions in calculus and in pre-calculus. I feel like some of the pre-calc stuff out there is really tough. I mean, have you ever tried looking at, you know, Putnam level questions? Those math problems are insane. They are so hard. They are so, so hard. Some people are really good at solving those problems and some people aren't. And I don't think that's a, uh, necessarily a barometer for talent because there's plenty of people who aren't good at competition problems who've done great things in math. But the point is, it never ends. Mathematics, it just doesn't end. And I think that a lot of people have a hard time with that because they want things to have a finish. They want to say, okay, I want to learn this and I want to learn everything in this subject. Let me do it. You can try and you'll probably learn quite, quite a bit of it. You can learn all the big theorems, all the key ideas, but you'll never really know everything, which is kind of cool. And I think for people who are just starting out, maybe you're in an algebra class or a calculus class or a pre-calc class, maybe a stats class, it's hard to grasp. In fact, you can't even imagine it. The more math you learn, the more you realize that you don't know anything. Like the, the more math I see, 
the more I realize that there's so much I don't know. And eventually, you become okay with that. You accept it. It takes a while. It takes a while. I think it might take years, you know, especially if you're a hardcore math person and you're like really gung-ho and you're getting A's in all your classes. You want to learn everything. That's fine, but you're going to get to a point where you're just not going to understand everything and it's okay. It's okay to just keep going because it never ends. It just goes on forever. It's really cool. Anyways, if you want to learn mathematics, I actually do actually have math courses on my website, mathsorcerer.com or freemathvids.com. They're actually on the Udemy platform, but if you get them, please use my links as it helps me greatly because otherwise uh, Udemy takes most of it and I've lowered the prices to the bare minimum. So when you use my links, you should get a really good price. And if you found any value in this content, feel free to hit subscribe if you want to. Also, before I forget, I do have another YouTube channel. It's called The Internet Sorcerer. It's undergone a few name changes, but I'm going to stick with this one, The Internet Sorcerer. I like it. It's not changing. I post random stuff there, like product reviews and other weird things, other interests I have. But key takeaway from this video is that there is no end to mathematics. It goes on forever. It's so deep. That's one of the interesting things about it, too, because it's, it's deep it's rich and it's like, it's just so deep. I can't, I can't explain how hard it is and how much is, goes into it. You know, if you're learning something like abstract algebra, there's always theorems and propositions and you know, everything builds on everything. So it's like deep and involved and complex and it's really beautiful. And you can spend a lifetime learning mathematics, your whole life, you know, and you won't know it all because there is no finish. There is no finish. The same is true for some other subjects, I guess, but I think with math, with math, what makes it so different is that it just, it just keeps going and new math is created all the time, new discoveries are made in mathematics, etc. What do you think? Why do you like math? I'm curious. Do you think that it's possible to learn all math? I think most people would agree that it's not possible. Even, even the greatest mathematicians that ever lived, you know, they always admitted that, you know, it's not possible to learn everything. It's just, it's just not. It really, really isn't. Anyways, kind of a random video, but just remember, the end of mathematics, there really, there really is no end. You know, it keeps, it keeps going forever. Forever. Until next time, good luck. Keep doing mathematics.